Imagine landing on a surface so hot it could vaporize anything in an instant. That's what would happen if you tried to jump on the sun. The sun is a blazing sphere of scorching gases, primarily hydrogen and helium, where temperatures soar to about 5,600 degrees Celsius on the surface and an unimaginable 15 million degrees Celsius at the core. This intense heat means anything that comes close would be incinerated almost immediately. But let's dive deeper into this cosmic giant. The sun, a colossal star at the center of our solar system, exerts a gravitational pull so strong that it keeps all the planets, including Earth, in orbit. Its gravity is 28 times stronger than Earth's, so if you could miraculously stand on the sun, you would feel 28 times heavier. Imagine weighing 70 kilograms on Earth. On the sun, you would weigh nearly 2,000 kilograms. You would be crushed under your own weight. The sun's surface, known as the photosphere, isn't solid like Earth's surface. It's a layer of hot plasma. Plasma is a state of matter where gas is so hot that its atoms break apart into charged particles. This means you can't actually jump on it since there's no solid ground. It's like trying to jump on a cloud made of lightning. Now, let's talk about the atmosphere of the sun, which consists of several layers. The photosphere is just the beginning. Above it, there's the chromosphere, a region where temperatures can rise to over 20,000 degrees Celsius. Beyond that, there's the corona, the outermost layer, which mysteriously becomes hotter than the layers below it, reaching temperatures of up to 1 million degrees Celsius. Scientists are still puzzled by this phenomenon known as the coronal heating problem. This is just one of the many mysteries of our sun. But, say, we had some indestructible spacesuit and material that could withstand these temperatures and pressures. Even then, the radiation emitted by the sun would be lethal. The sun constantly emits a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind, which can cause severe damage to any spacecraft and pose a significant threat to astronauts. The radiation would zap through any known material, making it impossible to survive. The sheer size of the sun is another factor to consider. Its diameter is about 1.4 million kilometers, which is 109 times the diameter of Earth. If you could travel around the sun's equator, it would be a journey of over 4 million kilometers. This immense size means that even light, which travels at about 300,000 kilometers per second, takes around 8 minutes to reach us from the sun. So, any attempt to jump on the sun would be a leap into an environment beyond our comprehension. To understand the scale of the sun's power, let's consider its energy output. Every second, the sun converts about 4 million tons of its mass into energy, releasing the equivalent of 384.6 septillion watts. This energy powers everything on Earth, from the smallest microorganisms to the largest ecosystems. Without the sun, life as we know it wouldn't exist. In conclusion, the idea of jumping on the sun is not only impossible, but also highlights the incredible forces and extreme conditions that define our closest star. Our sun is a giant nuclear furnace, a celestial powerhouse that continues to fascinate and challenge our understanding of the universe. While we can't set foot on this titan, Studying it from afar provides invaluable insights into the workings of stars and the very nature of the cosmos. So next time you feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, remember the unimaginable energy and intense conditions that lie at the heart of this magnificent star.